Imagine for a moment that you're in your mid to late 20s, maybe even your early 30s. After college, you move states away from your immediate family. One day you get an unexpected phone call from your mother who's struggled with her weight her whole life. She's had type 2 diabetes for years. She just went to see her cardiologist and got diagnosed with heart disease. It's the unfortunate reality for a lot of people here in the United States of America. Despite all the information that we have available about eating healthy and exercising regularly. The vegan diet has been shown to reduce the risk of heart disease by a significant amount. Heart disease, cancer, uh, and I believe it is the meatless solution. So today, after, hopefully after hearing my experience with going vegan, um, the health benefits of veganism, and how easy it is to switch to veganism, that you'll be convinced to do the same. I just wanted to quickly define what a vegan is versus vegetarian, because um, I think the two things get pretty confused. Uh, as a vegan, I avoid all animal products whatsoever. Um, that's meat, dairy, honey, and even things like gelatin uh, that we don't think about that are animal product derived. Uh, vegetarians, however, only avoid meat on this list. They'll eat eggs, cheese, yogurt, things like that. Um, vegetarians can still eat those things. And I included omnivore because that's what most of us are. Uh, and those are people who don't omit any of these categories. They just eat whatever they want. Why do people go vegan? Uh, people usually go vegan for one or more of the following reasons. Um, health benefits, climate change, or animal ethics. Uh, I went vegan personally for the health benefits aspect of it. Um, so that's what we're going to focus on today because I think in order to appreciate its effect on the world, you first have to understand um, how it affects you personally. My experience with veganism is um, kind of odd. I grew up playing football, rugby, weightlifting, things like that. Um, and throughout that time, I've always had coaches um, and peers and other weightlifters telling me that um, I have to eat meat in order to build muscle. I have to meet, eat meat to be an athlete. Um, but I also struggled with my weight, and so I was always trying new diets. Uh, and so veganism to me was just another experimental diet. If it didn't work or I didn't like it, I could always go back. However, I didn't want to go back. After the first couple weeks of going vegan, I saw increased energy, faster recovery time at the gym. Within months of going vegan, I had noticed that uh, I had stopped getting sick as often. And as somebody who struggled with allergies, runny nose, itchy eyes in the spring and in the fall, um, I had actually seen asthma and allergy relief. So what is the science behind this? Well, a vegan diet greatly reduces the amount of saturated fat and cholesterol intake in one's diet. This helps to prevent and reverse all of these different diseases, heart disease included. If you look in the top right hand corner, there's a chart. It shows that people who are omnivorous have a 50% chance of getting heart disease. It is the number one killer in the United States of America. 15% of vegetarians will get heart disease and only 4% of vegans will get heart disease. So obviously there's a pretty strong correlation between um, eating animal products and developing heart disease. In addition to that, uh, Dr. Bernard from the American Diabetes Association in a study that compared the vegan diet to their ADA recommended diet in reducing type 2 diabetes medication, found that the vegan diet was almost twice as effective as theirs. But I thought that we were made to eat meat. I thought that we were supposed to eat meat. It has things in it that we can't get anywhere else. Well, anatomically, this doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Uh, humans share a lot of characteristics with herbivores on the planet and don't share a lot of characteristics with other carnivores and omnivores on the planet. For example, carnivores and omnivores don't get heart disease for eating saturated fat and cholesterol in meat. Carnivores and omnivores don't contract foodborne illnesses like E. coli and salmonella from eating raw meat. Humans have to cook their own meat. Um, carnivores and omnivores also have jaws that aren't capable of moving side to side, whereas humans do in a grinding motion made to um, grind up plants and other things. <clears throat> what if I want to eat meat? I don't want to eat salad all the time. I don't want to eat fruits and vegetables only. Well, let me just start by saying 90% of the foods you already eat are vegan. Things like uh, beans, rice, potatoes, pasta, peanut butter, all of those are already vegan. But for the times when you actually just want meat, you, want, you crave the texture, the flavor of meat, 
Um, there are quite a few replacements, even in your local grocery store. So I go to Kroger, and I get things like uh, Gardein, brands like Beyond Meat, and they make uh, soy replacements of these things. So like uh, there's ground beef crumbles that are made of soy. There's, uh, ground, there's chicken strips that are made of soy as well. Uh, and they taste really, really similar. And also, there's a couple of vegan restaurants that have just popped up here in Louisville. Uh, there's one on Baxter Avenue called Morrill's Cafe, and then there's one that I've been to personally called Half Peach Cafe, um, and they make things like fried chicken out of soy, um, nachos with cashew nacho cheese that taste very, very, very similar. Uh, and there's been study, there's been research being done on creating a burger called the Impossible Burger um, that when cooked, it bleeds and it acts just like real meat. It's supposed to smell like real meat and everything else. In conclusion, um, hopefully after hearing my experience, the health benefits of going vegan, um, and then just how many options there are available to vegans nowadays, that you'll feel confident in making your switch today. You just have to ask yourself, is eating meat worth the risk associated with it? Is eating animal products just for the taste worth dying early because of heart disease or any other disease? As a father, I never want to make that phone call to my son to let him know that my time on this earth is limited. Thank you.